question six. So we've got to use the graph to convert 82 square feet to square meters. So we're starting off with 82 square feet. So here are the square feet. So we need to find 82. Now notice there are five squares from 80 to 90. So we're actually going up in twos here, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90. So we only actually need to go one square along to get 82. So anyway, we then go directly upwards. We hit the curve, uh, the line rather, and go directly horizontally to this point here. And this is two squares above the seven. Now again, because there's only five squares between seven and eight, we're going up in point twos. So 7.2, 7.4, and so on. So two squares up is an answer of 7.4 meters squared. Now it says use the graph or the box below to show, show clearly how you get your answer. Well, I've used the graph. Right, now for part B, he wants to make some brown paint. You have to mix red, blue and yellow in the ratio of 4 to 3 to 1. So 4 red, 3 blue and 1 yellow to give us brown paint. Now what we need to do is we need to add up these parts to get a no total number of parts which is 8. So we need 8 parts to make brown. Now we're told that the amount of brown paint we need is 1.6 litres. So that needs to go over in this column here. Okay, This is the total column, the brown column. Now we need 1.6 litres. Now how proportionally do we get from 8 to 1.6? Well, if you do 8 divided by 1.6, you get 5 on your calculator. So we've got to scale all of these down by 5. We've got to make them 5 times smaller. Making 8 5 times smaller, we get our 1.6. So we've got to divide each of these numbers, each of these ratios, by 5 to get the number of litres of each of these paints that we need. So the amount of red we need is 4 divided by 5, which is 0 0.8 litres. The amount of blue we need is 3 divided by 5, which is 0 0.6 litres. And the amount of yellow we need is 1 divided by 5, which is 0 0.2 litres of yellow. Now for my check here, what I've done is that my amount of red, blue and yellow paint added together gives me 1.6, which is the amount of brown paint I need. It doesn't actually necessarily prove you've got it right. But what it does prove is if that, if that d does not add up to 1.6, then you've definitely got it wrong. So it's a pretty good check. 